Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to explore multiple GPU providers starting from RunPod to vast AI paper space and newly launched Indian GPU provider or Indian cloud provider Krutrim by Ola. Focus will be on RunPod because they have slashed the GPU prices by 40%. RunPod has been one of my preferred uh you know cloud to do fine tuning and also you know pre-training foundational model or base model i have been using run pod for last two or three years and i'm really satisfied with it uh not a sponsored video guys and i love run pod for the simplicity that they provide and they have re recently you know slashed the prices and that's what we're going to look at you know in this video we can also compare that with uh, vast ai lambda labs you know paper space and Krutrim. so let's have a look at here so if you look at here on my screen currently i am on run pod and uh, if you look at run pod that's where you find the pricing i am already logged in by the way i have some 14 dollar or something so far on uh, like run pod left and i keep using it by the way okay, i also use colab pro where they provide l4 and a100 as well it's not only about a100 guys a100 uh and i'm going to talk about it if you if you look at large language models language models deep learning training simulations whenever we talk about it we talk about a hundred you know it's, which is based on ampere architecture a bit old by nvidia comes in legacy arc uh but it's still really preferred because of the compatibility with other libraries, frameworks, tensors, and whatnot. If you keep going deeper into the hierarchy, we'll talk about talk on the tensors level. But yeah, it's more preferred. We have H100, we have L4 coming in, we have multiple RTX as well, depending on what kind of training you want to do. But A100 is the most preferred when it comes to large language models. Uh, and of course, with different floating points, you know, uh, flash attentions, blah, 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 you know, all those compatibility, you have to be really strategic the way you choose your uh, GPUs. Let me show you uh, how the prices used to look earlier. Now, if you look at this here, earlier for A100, A100 are of different types, you know, uh, what that NVIDIA provides. If you look, if you talk about SXM4 or SXM, which is an acronym for scalable link interface okay uh, which is multi gpu right it's an it's an interconnected connected technology that nvidia had created uh, which allows multiple gpus to be connected to a single system to improve performance and efficiency so you know mainly a100 is available uh, in the sxm form factor which is designed for high density server environment and offers supplier thermal and delivery compared to traditional so pci is traditional form factors pci is uh, an acronym for peripheral component interconnect express uh, which is a traditional high speed interface standard for connecting various hardware component uh to a to a mother to a computer's motherboard that's what pci is so S a100 is available in pcie a100 is available in sxm but they're also available in nvlink which is better in my views uh which is for uh you know which is like it run per provides for a h100 not for a100 and which is low latency high bandwidth Krutrim has has you know announced that they're going to provide nv link so even you select a hundred it's not a blind fold thing that okay let's have an a hundred no you have to see which 800 which a hundred sorry not 800 which a hundred you gonna use guys so don't get fooled by paper space providing something you know uh you know in the lesser price and you think oh this a no it, it might not be the same a hundred sxm or uh, nv link it can be psi blah 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 right so this is a price comparison over here that you see nvidia h100 h100 are the one of the best gpus to you know train llms uh, to be honest but a100 is something that i can afford and then you have l40 l uh, which is gpu uh, that colab is also providing nowadays in colab pro and that's what you see the prices were earlier 1.89 dollar now it's 1.69 us dollar and then you have 2.19 to 1.94 if you look at h100 nvl nvlink it has reduced from 4.39 to 3.69 which which had been 
you know reduced drastically so this is how the prices used to look earlier this is where you have you know gpu model 16 gb 24 gb 48 48 gb 48 gb pro 80 gb blah 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 you can also find it out over here the flex worker and the active worker so they have these prices probably i'll give this link and also you can find it out on run pod now now if you look at here on the run pod or dashboard you have this gpu and this is the latest generation as i talked about previous gen a100 is the previous uh, generation ampere architecture by nvidia you can see a100 SX, sxm is a bit costly but psi the traditional one is 1.69 dollar per hour that does the job guys by the way if you just have to, just have to fine tune you know you can use libraries like unsloth to do it even faster or uh, with less memory compute and then we have a40 and then the other uh, previous generation the new generation is h100 psi sxm blah 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 and l40 of course depending on what you need you can just come here and it's pretty easy let me show you so for example if you need a100 click on this once you click on this you can also select templates they have multiple templates guys that's why i love run pod because they have official temp templates and community driven template you can see for example if you want to use a uh, different version of pytorch you can just select any one of these okay, you can use cobalt ai united like cobalt which is like you can use uh, local llms private llms then you have uh wave ui text generation wave ui graduate application you can directly run it through uba boba uba Buga. i don't know how they pronounce it extra at all uh, and then you have comfy ui then we have a lot of templates v llm which which helps you inference llm faster you know with really fast then we have block all the ggml model we can't forget the block tom jobbins has one of the most important guys for the community and then you have vllm llama 3 you can directly run llama 3 here then you have ubuntu and a lot of other templates guys but for example if you want to go with default that i recommend you to go with pytorch 2.0.1 uh, now you can get up to 8 a hundred at maximum and on demand then one month saving plan three month saving plans and then e spot e spot is interruptible so it can interrupt any time you know which is uh you know like interruptible instance so if somebody also you just sit on the same uh accessing the same uh, gpu then it might be a bit difficult for you then i will always recommend you go with on demand which is non-interruptible but even if you go with spot which is almost half of the price of on demand which is fantastic less than a, less than a dollar guys per hour so depends on which one you want to go with always select start jupyter notebook you know if you want to access jupyter from here you can also do ssh terminal access but then then it, it will be a different setting configurations this is the pricing summary that you see and this is the port summary just click on deploy once you click on deploy it will deploy it for you and then you can access the jupyter notebook and run all of your training jobs in that you know you can use libraries transformers unsloth vllm olama blah 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 it's up to you now i have shown this in a lot of my previous videos for run pod i can give the link in description but this is how you can set it up now i'm more interested in krutrim guys here by you know it's an indian company ola first company who competed with uber you know on the global stage and Krutrim by ola and they have they have done some great innovation uh in recent days they also have launched maps our own maps based on uh algorithms which suited india as a geography because we have our own challenges of street names you know traffics uh, you know different other parameters or variables that plays a role that play a role in uh in the map and we have been relying on google maps or any other western maps you know like chinese maps and all in the different vehicles so they have done a great job with their map please uh, check it out as well and they also have now come up with krutrim cloud they have models they have a couple of models krutrim model and you can see it over here you can compare this you know by also chat by chatting with it now compute is something that you can have a look you know it, it asked me to log in i'm just going to log in here so session is not good they have to improve on this i just logged in five minutes back i don't know why they just logged me out but anyway uh, oh this is this is surprising it says password wrong how the hell is my password wrong yeah now 
you can see it says maps you can also explore maps maps i'm not gonna go inside maps but this is the nvidia a100 thingy that you see now they provide nvidia a100 nvidia h100 but if you look at nvidia a100 they give you they give you 40 gb nv link nv link is superior of course when you compare that with pcie uh, but 2x they don't have a single gpu gpu which with 80 gb gpu memory or vram which is not there but you have to take two and then that goes to 80 but the the prices is almost double as run pod okay like 210 uh rupees per hour so it becomes almost uh almost 2.5 us dollar per hour if i'm not wrong okay so if you look at here so you can try it out you know i will of course i will back them because this is an indian based cloud provider i will back them as of course so you can also look at clutrim but so far run run pod is has no competition you know run pod has no competition they will i don't think they will have any competitions uh in near future as well because they are great in when it comes to innovation they have been innovating a lot uh to be honest now you can you can also select some of their uh serverless deployments so for example if you want to use vllm you can just deploy it and use this as an api endpoint right here from uh, run power which is fantastic now Kruthrim has a bit higher prices when you compare that with run power so you can this choice is yours now next is washed ai washed ai uh gives you it's really backed by community i'll say i mean when i say community or not community individual gpu providers you know in different regions and data centers now if i look at here one a hundred sxm4 but they, this is in czech slovakia or something right if i'm not wrong the data center then you have to be careful when you use these kind of gpus uh and it it, it also has 1.818 per hour which is a bit affordable than run pod for sxm4 but you have to then have a look at if this is you know i think this is on demand you can see on demand you can look at interruptible as well which will be even more affordable so if you look at interruptible a100 goes up to 0 0.752 which is which is affordable than run port but my problem is that i don't trust vast ai you know i have some bad experiences with them but you know it's up to you uh, this is this is an affordable gpu provider even affordable more affordable than run pod so you can also have a look at them but run pod user experience is better you know and i'm just wearing my developer hat right now next is paper space uh, which is by which is backed by digital ocean and you can see they have a hundred eighty g uh 1.15 us dollar uh i'm not sure which one but I, I think you have to go inside it and understand create an account and then have a look they also provide h100 a100 v100 the old one and a lot of other gpus that they also have been providing you have a multi gpu as well if you want to have it and then cpu are not interested uh, so you can have a look at paper space as well so paper space washed ai crew my uh, run pod and then we have our old friend lambda lambda labs okay so you can also look at lambda labs here lambda labs and run pod were two i think the two most uh prominent gpu providers when there was hype around deep learning or like when the llms were rising right they were the most used and you can also look at their cloud you can go in that cloud sign on demand cloud and you can have a look at here now they are they are also good guys they are fantastic lambda labs i have used i have used lambda as well you can get nvidia h100 for 2.49 gpu per hour and you can just sign up here and use it you can also reserve so this is what i wanted to cover guys in this video i wanted to start with run pod and show you the slashed prices so they have you know decreased the price or reduced the prices they have reduced it like they say they have slashed by 40 percent and they have crew the new cloud new cloud where you have to reserve this you know you have to reserve you, know, you have to put some credit and reserve and then you have vast ai you have paper space and you have lambda labs the choice is yours uh if you work in a global enterprise then these are not for you probably run pod is something that enterprises would have been working with because they have some enterprise plans better ones but you will be working with aws sales maker they have uh, p series of or p series and c series of compute uh you know of of the of the machines and you will be working with sage maker you'll be working on vertex ai where you'll be looking at standard n series of gpus or whatever 
machines which is which have the gpus like 800 and whatnot and if you are on azure you will be using azure machine learning where you can use uh, gpu backed on machines as well so i think if you are working in a global organization you will be using aws sales maker and not probably not using this but if you are a researcher as an individual or a group who are looking to uh, work with affordable llm providers uh, excuse me LL, uh, gpu providers then run pod uh, lambda labs vast ai and paper space among these you can select any one of it my recommendation is still run pod uh, and Krutrim is something that you can keep an eye on if you're an indian developer let me know your thoughts which cloud you use you know probably you can come uh, you can comment it down in the comment box let us know uh, our audience as well the subscribers and uh, what's your views on this cloud providers what do you recommend and you uh, if you have any other findings if you like the content please hit the like icon if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guys that motivates me to create more such videos in your future thank you so much for watching see you in the next one